Hi, I'm Emily, and my life is a Jane Austen novel. Emma, to be exact. Let me break it down. Okay, so basically we started reading this book Emma in AP Lit a couple weeks ago, and since then, everything that happens to Emma happens to me. Like, my friend Holly recently texted me that this kid Marty, who's a tad vacuous, fully slid into her DMs. So I told her she had to go for this guy Elliot, who seemed like he was into her and wasn't, you know, vapid, no offense. Then, two hours later, I sit down with a little chamomile and an electrical blanket, and I read in the book that Emma's friend Harriet likes this guy Mr. Martin, but guess what? He's societally beneath her, so Emma says Holly should go for Mr. Elton, who's better off and seems to like her. So now I'm thinking, ugh, god, it's Nick. He's my, my friend, maybe. I think Nick is Mr. Knightley, who's sort of at odds with Emma, but sort of, ugh, I don't know how to describe it. Yo, what's up? Ugh, Nick, what is it? God, nothing, bro. Can you chill? I just wanted to talk to you. You get so tense. Uh, sorry. How no, you are you? You know what? It's fine. I, I'll call some other time. God, Nick can be so annoying sometimes. Sorry about that. Anyways, so now I'm thinking, oh my god, this is exactly what just happened to me. And it would just be serendipitous, except the next day I get a text from none other than Elliot, who's asking me out, and I'm all like, I was trying to set him up with Holly. This is so awkward. And sure enough, the next chapter turns out that Mr. Elton wasn't into Harriet. He was just trying to get close with, you guessed it, Emma. So that's pretty much where I am now. I'm trying to pace myself though, and I swear I'm not some wacko. I'm actually really down to earth. At least that's what my shrink tells me. Her name's Greta, like Greta Gerwig. Ugh, she's such a peach. Hey honey, oh, what is this? I got it from that little boutique that sells sustainable clothing made out of rubble from Taiwan. Yeah, it's cute, but remember I told you we're a little strapped right now ever since Kerfluffle went under? Kerfluffle was my dad's pillow fluffing machine company that was doing really well until the rise of the Tempur-Pedic pillow. My dad had a breakdown on Fletcher Turks or Kaikos. We're still not sure which one. That part wasn't in the book. You can't just keep buying things willy-nilly, honey. Whatever you say, Mom. I have to buy clothes willy-nilly. It's like my thing. Okay, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Harriet, cried Emma. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Are you speaking with Mr. Knightley? To be sure I am. I never could have an idea of anybody else. And Harriet likes Knightley. Great. Great. Ugh, Holly, right on cue. Hey. Hey. Okay, so I was thinking. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, oh, maybe I like Nick. Were you? Mm-hmm. And I realized after a little while, stay with me here, I actually want to be with Marty. And I know, I, I know, he's not the brightest or whatever. But he no, 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 no. Marty's been getting better. I, I think you should just go for it. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome. I gotta go. Mwah. Bye. And there it is. Harriet and Martin get together, and that means... Yes, okay. Emma gets nightly, which means I'm gonna get Nick. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, calm down, Emily. Wait. He's gonna call. He's gonna call. Okay, so he hasn't called. Maybe this was all a lie? No, no, no. Just busy yourself, Emily. Find something to do, and he'll call at some point. Oh, I could read another book. Mansfield Park. Oh, perfect. It's Jane Austen. You know, she's really grown on me lately. Da -da -da. The little girl performed her long journey in safety, and at Northampton was met by Miss Norris. Emily, can you come here for a minute? Coming! What's up? Yeah, so remember when I said we were strapped for cash? Yeah. We're running low, really low. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to send you to Aunt Norris in New Hampshire while I look for a job. Did you say Aunt Norris in New Hampshire? Yeah. 